Hello and welcome David here. You clicked on this video because you want to know the very important settings you need to turn on CapCut PC to ensure your editing process is smooth and efficient. And I'm going to be showing you these settings right about now so that you never go into problems when you edit your videos starting from today. So if you know you want to be a pro editor and you want to always edit smoothly without having lags delays and layer errors then this video is for you let's get started so to start with you have the screen this is the screen you are greeted with when you first open CapCut pc so now you want to go to setting this icon you say settings i want to start from settings and that will be the first tab you are going to be turning on the settings so make sure you follow me step by step throughout this process Okay, so under setting, the first place we want to visit is called draft. All right, under draft, you always want to auto delete cache from your system every now and then. This helps gives your CapCut space to edit faster, to render faster. As you can see, mine is set at 30 days. You can set yours to 15 days, which I recommend. It will clear the chest and it will make your editing process faster. So it will keep clearing this chest. As you can see, all the edits I've done so far, this period is just about 321 MB. I can click that and delete that now. And it's going to delete that for me. That does not mean it's going to delete all the projects we have done. It's just deleting the SS cache we don't need in this video so i'm going to wait for that to remove completely and then we'll move on to the next setting you must turn on to ensure CapCut pc moves and um, moves and edit smoothly on your system okay so we are back and now we have cache size zero that is the first step now we want to move on to the edit tab now i want you to pay attention to this tab because it is very important okay the first thing I would want you to turn on is where you see arrange layer. You want that turned on because there are sometimes you're trying to arrange text in between two video clip or a music clip. You're unable to do that because you keep getting error. You want to turn this on. Once this is turned on, it remains turned on. Okay. And you don't want to delete that. The other one, which I would like to touch on is the frame rate. So this frame rate is set at 30 frame per seconds 30 fps per second you might want to leave it there but i will encourage you to always leave it at 24 frame but if you're creating video for youtube like i am you want to set it to 30 frame if you're creating a cinematic video then make sure it's on 24 frame the other setting i want you to turn on in this section is sound for editing you want to get a notification as soon as the export is done why do I say you want to get a notification sound? It's because there are sometimes you've not gotten the sound and you close it not knowing you've not rendered your video completely and you have to start again. You don't want to make that mistake, right? So you turn on notification sound so that anytime you're done editing your rendering your work, you hear that sound, you know you are done. Then the next tab we want to visit is the performance tab. This will determine based on the kind of system you use currently. As you can see, encode, you can speed encode all this. I see I have it turned on because my system actually has a graphics card. Okay, so all this is turned on. The very important setting again I want you to turn on is Prog Z. It says, you see, it turns it on during edit to make your editing smooth. It makes your editing super smooth when you turn that on. So instead of using the full, for instance, maybe you have a file of 10 gig, instead of using the full 10 gig, it just gets you a lower version of that file. And once you're done editing and doing everything, it's going to use the bigger version to render. So you want to turn that on. It's very important to get HD from your record, from your edits, from your processed video you've done you want to set this to 1080p at its lowest you don't want to go lower than that 720p outdated 480p outdated you want to be on 1080p if you have 4k set it to 4k if your internet connections allows you to do that and the other one i would look at is for proxy side after a while you have files like this you can delete that also once you're done 
working with the Proxify. But if you know you're still going to be working with the Proxify, then you need to turn that on and don't delete that until you're completely done. And once you're done, you hit save. But is that all? No, I want to show you one more important setting. So let's go to this screen and I'll show you one more thing you can do. Okay, it says cannot update project. So I can't. Okay, so we are back. So this was a project I was working on in the past. And there's one more setting I want to show you here. And once I show you this setting, you are good to go. And from now on, you'll be able to edit smoothly using CapCut PC and you will save yourself a lot of time and effort working with CapCut. So for this one, this is the video clip. For instance, it's called a playback lag. You can hit play and it's going to lag. It's going to take time. It's going to see those. You're going to see, you can see there's a bit of lag as you can see. How do we get that out of the way? It's very simple. To get as you can see it's giving the performance reminder don't remind me because i already set all other settings so how do i get rid of this particular one this lag you see all you need to do is to click on the timeline as you can see so you have the timeline clicked on like that next you want to come to these three dots you see on the top you click on those three dots and you want to go to preview where it says preview you don't need best quality to preview. You only need best quality when you are rendering and when you are exporting your final work. So hit best performance. So once you hit best performance, now if we go back to the beginning of this clip, you are going to see it's going to move smoothly. Let's play that. So you see it's moving smoothly now. It's better. That's all you need to do. Now the next step is to close CapCut PC and restart it. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Stay blessed.